you've done those things that are wrong and you die, what's going to be the consequence for you? I mean, nothing. Well, you just said there was a consequence. I mean, like you, you say, if I, if I did them and I die, I mean, I'm gonna, just going to die, right? Well, do you think you have a soul? I do. What's going to happen to your soul if you've done wrong? Go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell. Well, it seems to me that there should be some punishment for, for doing wrong. Wouldn't you, doesn't that seem fair to you? Yeah. Okay. So as a Buddhist, what, how do you get rid of those? How do you avoid going to hell? Um, get rid of your desire. Okay. But here's the problem, my youngest friend. You've already done those bad things. You, you've done wrong. You deserve to be punished for them. How do you get rid of those things? Now, by, by not doing them anymore, it doesn't make them go away. You've still well, have done those things. Try to do as, good, as much good things as possible. Ah, so kind of balance the scales a little bit. Okay, but that isn't the concept of justice. Imagine a criminal who stands before a judge. He's broken the laws, and he says, but judge, I've done good things. I've baked brownies and given them to the next-door neighbor kids. I helped a little old lady across the street. The judge is going to say, that's nice, but that doesn't pay for your fine. That doesn't pay for the crime. You're still in big trouble. So if you've done wrong things, how do you get your fine paid? Um, as a Buddhist? Yeah. Hmm. Well, like, like I said, I'm try as much as possible, but because you, you know, you can't do anything about it. Okay. Let me, let me, okay, before you, you scoot back to your chess game, let me share a thought with you. You're here at, at Georgia State to learn stuff, right? Yes. You can just put this into your noggin and consider this, okay? okay. I'm not a Buddhist and I'm not a Catholic. I'm a Christian. And here's what, here's what we think. That we do deserve to be punished. We do deserve God's wrath. We do deserve to go to hell. But God is rich in mercy. He's kind. And he demonstrated his kindness by sending his son. Do you know who that is? You ever heard Jesus. of this? That's right. Jesus. The God-man Jesus to take the punishment that we deserve. You've broken God's laws, but Jesus paid your fine. So you can die and go to heaven, not because you're a good or a good person, because you're not, you're a bad guy, but you can be forgiven by a good God. That's the good news of the gospel. That's how justice is satisfied. It was satisfied on the cross when Jesus died for sinners. So you can have your sins forgiven if you repent. Have you ever heard that biblical word before? Um, I heard the word, but... Yeah. It means to agree with God. You're not a good person. You're a wretched sinner. You've broken his laws, and you're sorry. You apologize, and you turn from your sins, and you put your trust in Jesus Christ. And he says, if you'll do that, I'll forgive all of your sins and grant you everlasting life. And I'll adopt you as my child, and you'll go to heaven because the fine has been paid for you. That's the good news of the gospel. Well, it sounds really good, but... Um... I guess I have to clearly what? present myself as a Buddhist because I have not like going to as deep as into like Buddhism as other people. But here's but here's what we've learned: Buddhism doesn't have a way to pay your fine. Christianity does. So think about it today, okay? Just think about it. Think about your sins and think about the Savior. And if you agree with God, He exists. He's your judge and He's your Savior. Then repent and put your trust in Jesus, and your conscience will be cleansed and your sins will be forgiven, and you'll inherit everlasting life. Fair enough. All right, dude. Thanks for the chat. Back to the chess game with you, Arnie. And for you too, my Buddhist friend.